Hey everyone, it's Albert, and today we have a very special unboxing of two iPhone Pro Max. They're both in gold, but one is from T-Mobile and one is directly from Apple. The reason why we're doing this video is because we've seen Apple source different components from different places and we never really know what we're going to get. An example is when the iPhone 7 came out, they gave the higher end Qualcomm chips only to CDMA users on Verizon and Sprint, whereas T-Mobile and AT&T users got the Intel chips which means they could not use their phones on Verizon, Sprint, and some international markets. Another difference is when the A9 chip came out, we saw them sourced from TSMC and Samsung, and they had drastic performance differences. Why Apple does this is because they want to maximize their delivery timeline, and they want to source it so that they can minimize the amount of hiccups that they can find on the way. So right off the bat, you can see the T-Mobile version has a smaller box, and it doesn't really have much padding to it, versus the Apple box, you can't hear it. Move around. Anyway, let's get right into it. Apple's actually been doing this for a while now, where they don't actually use plastic airbags that they put into different boxes because they want to try to minimize waste. And I would believe that this is actually more secure. My first impression of these iPhones is they're definitely big. They're big phones. And this is the biggest iPhone yet that Apple has made. The sides are definitely shiny. Um, it's picking up a lot of fingerprints already. And you can see on the side here, this is the millimeter wave sensor, which is only currently available in the US markets. As you can see in the box, it's Pretty much the same thing you get here, the Apple stickers, you get the instruction manuals, and you get the SIM ejector tool on both of the iPhones. They used to not include these for carrier variants um, because they don't want you to switch the SIM cards. What's different about this ear is they give you the USB-C to lightning cable, but they don't give you the USB-C 18 watt charger that they used to give you in the 11 Pro. So a lot of people were surprised, but hey, the whole box is now smaller, which means they can ship more iPhones which means they can cut down more waste along the way, which helps the environment cut down carbon footprint and all the whatnots. Obviously, from a cost standpoint, they would be saving a lot of money, which makes sense, but they can translate that into either a higher profit margin, which, you know, could be true, or they could fit more things inside the iPhone and provide more of a value for the user. So right here, we're just going to peel this off. Not much, this is just a piece of paper. So while we wait for them to boot up, you can see right here we have the XS Max. And the size of the iPhone 12 Pro Max is just slightly bigger than the iPhone XS Max. But the gold is also slightly different. So like previously mentioned, these different devices are actually manufactured differently. One of the key things that I noticed is the screen on the Apple version seems to be a little bit more green than the T-Mobile version, but that could very much be because of the different true tone light, especially with the uh, affection of that globe right there. But you can kind of see the different colors in different angles, but that's also because of the um, different reflections. There you have it, that was a quick unboxing of the two iPhone Pro Max, one from T-Mobile, one from Apple. The major differences that I saw was the screen in the beginning, but I'll be testing these two phones in depth and we'll posting the review shortly. You're always welcome to check out my channel or click over here for my intro video. And as always, I will be happy to answer any questions that you may have and make sure to subscribe and like as I'll be posting a lot more of these videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.